Is screen time bad for children's development? Is it actually bad? How do kids learn emotions in digital environments? What will change when we have richer ways of expressing emotions online? What is it that makes face-to-face -face communication so special? Can I influence what my child learns online? Is there a real need for the human face in the future anymore? Mm -hmm. We're planning on investigating what makes the interactive situation so special and why it isn't exactly the same when we are communicating online, for example, through Skype or just chatting. And then there's been a lot of discussion about whether screen time is bad for children, whether children are learning about empathy, whether they're learning about how to express and understand others' emotions in online environments. But we don't actually really know yet. So we're going to have to see, does screen time actually influence children's development? Is it harmful? If it is, which skills are not developing? We want to see whether the brain processes interaction in a similar way when we're actually face to face and whether we're in, a, for example, discussing things through Skype or interacting through Skype or some other service that is online. We're also interested in whether um, play that includes some sort of device is different than play that doesn't include a device. So does it somehow change how brains interact when we include, like for example, the iPad or some other device into the play? So today we were trying out some ways of investigating what happens on the brain level during interaction. So we can measure, for example, something called brain-to-brain -brain coupling, which means that how, how, brains, um, how brains are active during interaction and whether there's some kind of similarity in, in the brain responses during interaction. <laughs> Tuleepa hieno.